Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have another big footies SBC that is leaked today, and it's leaked as a premium car design, just like last week on a Wednesday when we had a big boy SBC release, the Ultimate Footies Furlan Mendy. I'm seeing a lot of similarities between this SBC last week and the one that might be dropping today. I wanna to talk about that leaked Antoine Griezmann Footies SBC in today's video. I do think it's gonna be dropping today, again, based off of last week's trend with this Furlan Mendy. I think there's a lot of similarities here. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about today on Wednesday being a voting day as well, per usual. We're gonna find out today what our last week of footies is going to be about. We're gonna find out what that cup's gonna be based around and what the voting will be based around and probably the dynamic duo as well, what our theme for this next week will be. Because as I said, this is the last week of footies. Footies starting Friday with these last nine days of batch three and packs, that's it for footies and then we are done. So. This last week should be huge. Hopefully it is. We'll find out more about that today. I want to talk about that. And of course, with a voting day always comes a little bit of tradable pack supply with the voting day SBC. I think it's very possible that some batch three cards could be dropping in price today and that fodder could be dropping a little bit as well. Even though fodder isn't crazy expensive at the moment uh, on the lower tier. I think that fodder could maybe have a spike, but then also drop later on into tonight on Wednesday because of that tradable supply. That'll add in, you know, another variable to our market movements today on Wednesday. So let's talk about this Griezmann and let's talk about even this 98 Ben Yedder because I think if the Griezmann's coming out as a French striker, you got to think about this Ben Yedder as well. So if you're excited for a Griezmann, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this leak because leaks are no secret anymore, right? We know this, these are on Twitter. They're posted out there for everybody to see. Foot Sheriff leaked this Griezmann yesterday. He said he's added to come via SBC during footies. Stats are a prediction. Now he tweeted him with that footies premium car design, just like he did last week with Furland Mendy. Now the reason I think there's a lot of similarities here is because this is the same trend that EA did last week. Tuesday, yesterday, we had a fan favorite or the footies favorite SBC, right? Last week we had Lacroix. This week we had Anthony. Yesterday we had Anthony. Last week on a Wednesday then, they dropped Ferland Mendy. We would expect this today, this week on Wednesday, for this Griezmann to drop. I, th I know that it's not 100% you know, guaranteed or anything like that, but I think this game would love a French striker Griezmann like this in the game today, and it would just make sense because like we've said so many times before, EA are creatures of habit and they often repeat themselves when they when there's a trend, when we find a trend, it, it gets repeated a lot of times, and it's happened a lot during footies already. So. The reason why Griezmann, I think, is shown as a premium car design, though, is just the same way that Ferland Mendy was last week. These are the only two cards that have been leaked so far or released as premium footies items as standalone SBCs. The other ones have been through the voting or through Dynamic Duo Objectives. The reason why I think this Griezmann is a premium card and leaked as such is because he is going to be our second ultimate footies. Now, what do we know about ultimate footies? Well, Ferland Mendy is the only ultimate footies card that we technically have had based on the name of the SBC, right? And what also do we know about Ferland Mendy's SBC? It's 17 freaking squads. It is very expensive. And, you know, his card was very, very juiced though, in spite of that. So it's kind of like, you know, two sides of the sword here. You got, you got very awesome, insane card. You also have a little bit overpriced. So that's what I'm expecting to see today for the Antoine Griezmann card. I would love to see an Antoine Griezmann that is five star, five star. A lot of you guys maybe remember his flashback from earlier on in the year. I still have this SBC in my club. This card was fantastic for me. His long shots and his finesse shots were incredible. This card is four star, four star. He has unique body type. He's got all the traits in the world. EA does not have to add any traits to this card. Just add the five star, five star, and this card will be incredible. Incredible. I've loved Griezmann in so many different FIFAs. This FIFA is no different. A five, five Griezmann would be baller. So the only thing I would say, again, that could be a problematic today about a Griezmann could potentially be the price. If it is an ultimate footies, it's probably going to be a bit more segments, but it's going to have even more juiced up stats if that is what EA planned to do with this card. So, you know, again, Mendy, a lot of more people, a lot more people are actually going out and doing the Mendy SBC now since it was actually extended. If you guys missed this yesterday early, they extended the Mendy SBC by two weeks, by 14 days. They gave us an extension. It expires in 21 days now. It was expiring in like eight days yesterday. So basically a two-week extension on this SBC, which is great. Hopefully the Griezmann, if it is a little bit expensive today, could 
um, have that longer time frame just with the more ability to craft through SBCs and stuff like that as well. But the way that the, the prices are for the SBC so far, if that Griezmann is anywhere near like over a million coins, I mean, it can't be over a million coins. Hopefully it's like 500 to 750,000 coins because here's the thing. We know of another French striker that is coming on Friday and that's this Ben Yedder. 27 tokens for Ben Yedder. If Griezmann is too expensive, you can literally just say, I'll pass and go get your Ben Yedder card for 27 swap tokens and have that one instead. So that's going to be the biggest caveat with this Griezmann today. Yes, you could say the same thing about last week with Ferland Mendy. We did get a Casemiro. We did get a Tony Cruz. Although those cards are definitely different and not comparable to Ferland Mendy in, you know, like exactly comparable, a Griezmann and a Ben Yedder would be a lot more comparable because they both could be five-star, five-star French strikers. Ben Yedder, of course, being the rat, very overpowered in game, you know, does have a very good chance to still be better than this Griezmann, but we'll just have to see what the Griezmann SBC looks like. And again, I really think it could be today unless EA want to mix it up on us and do something crazy and, and, and kind of change it up and do something else. But I really feel like today could be the day for that Griezmann. So get your fodder ready, I guess, and, or just get ready to, if that Griezmann would fit in your team, which he would fit in mine, and I would love to use him, definitely would craft that SBC. Um, get ready to get that card, maybe club stock, some fodder, whatever you need to do, build some player picks, 75 fives, get your 85 times 10 ready to craft into that Griezmann, whatever it may be. But again, that's another France player, and I don't want to read into it too early, because today on Wednesday is also a voting day. But just think about all the footies players that are French that we have had. I mean, we have had Playa that I just did. We have had a Kingsley Coman. We have had this Mendy card. There have been a lot of French players um, so far. We're getting Griezmann right now. Um, are there any that I missed? I don't think there's any that I missed so far. Unless I am forgetting one. I don't think so. But anyways... Um, oh, Lacroix, duh, I haven't finished the SBC. So there's just been a lot of France recently, but it's been spread out. And last week we were starting to think, okay, EA Sports, is this going to be the week of France being the focus? And I want to start thinking that way again this week because it would be a great way to finish off footies. Let us go out and ball out in, in a cup mode with all the French cards. You know, we've got so many insane French cards. It would just be fun. Would it be a little bit sweaty? Maybe. But as long as you make it golden goal like you did for Bundesliga, it wouldn't be that bad. So we're going to wait for the voting though today and see what EA drop and release for this before we start to get too excited about a potential France week in FIFA like we did last week. So wait for that voting today and that should give us insight on what this last week of footies will be like. Now also with a voting day also comes a voting day SB. C, and that's actually pretty big because a voting day SBC is going to give us some tradable supply on the market. And that's big because batch three cards, a lot of them have risen back up a little bit and SBC fodder is going to be impacted by that today as well. Last week, if you remember, um, you know, your batch two cards dropped off a little bit on Wednesday last week because I'm pretty sure the voting day SBC gives out like a 45K pack. And then fodder as well last week didn't do as well on a Wednesday because that exact same thing. So if you have any shapeshifter cards that are maybe up from where they were, you know, again, one of my favorite examples of a card that really rose nicely in the past week um, since Sunday is this Timo Werner. Timo Werner was 130k Sunday night. He was actually yesterday. He's back down again. He was 190,000 coins yesterday on Tuesday in the early daytime. I think even on Monday, he was like 190,000 coins. With Anthony dropping yesterday, that hurt his price a little bit as a Brazil right wing. Of course, Brazil right wings always have the hype, so he is down a little bit. But even some of the other batch three cards that are still just up a little bit in price, should we say. You know, Ramos is still near about 290, 300,000 coins. He was like 250, 260 at his low point. Ribéry was low to mid 600s. He's closer to 700 now. Um, you know, Who's another example of one? We talked about Timo Werner. Marcelo is up, right? Sunday night, I believe he was like 700 lows, maybe even Monday morning. 700, yeah, 695. And he is now all the way back up to 816,000 coins. You know, that's something to keep in mind of maybe with some more supply coming in today, you would look to take the cash. You know, Sonaldo was under 600,000 coins on Monday. He is now back to like 630, 640. So some of these cards that have just not gone up a ton, but they just rebounded back up a little bit, especially if they are in packs. This is the part of the week where a lot of people are gonna start finishing their games for the Bundesliga Cup, and they're gonna start, okay, maybe thinking about what's next. And especially today with the voting, and as we get into Thursday, and then of course Friday is when you see 
I mean, expect for a lot of people to change their teams up and to change more footies cards are coming out, making it into their main squads, whether the Anthony from yesterday is making it into people's teams with the Casemiro that they maybe did, or Anthony, of course, gets a green link to the Pato, to the Rafinha premium footies cards that we had from the Brazil week earlier on. So, you know, people are con constantly changing up their teams around the brand new footies cards that get dropped. And since we're going to get more released today, and a voting for more to be released on the weekend with a new week of footies, you know, that's why I would say just be careful with some of these, uh, you know, cards that are in batch three that are in packs because with the supply today and with people kind of finishing the cup, changing up their teams, I do think you could start to see some prices kind of tailing down towards the end of the week. And not even to mention all of these footies batch three cards are going to be in packs on Friday when we have the massive, massive swaps packs released for summer swaps number two. So that's another thing to kind of consider with everything that's going on right now is these guys are going to get packed. Yes, it, albeit it will be untradeable, but there could be tradable packs that will be open on Friday as well. And, you know, just with all of the hype of the promo Friday with the footy stuff, I do expect to see a lot of these shapeshifters still drop down more in price. It happened during batch two with the Tots cards that were in packs. Then on batch two, they dropped even further on that promo Friday and they dropped further over the weekend just because, you know, more packs are being opened on the weekend with weekend league rewards being, you know, given out as well. And, it, you know, just new promo packs in the store. People have saved up packs from during the week. Um, you know, probably not as much for right now for the second week, but that was more for last week. But, you know, that's kind of the thing that I'll watch out for. So if you still have any of these cards or if you bought any of them and you're like, Nate, I really don't want to lose that many coins, you know, just be a little bit careful. I know we're not super following. I I'm not trading as much or worrying as much about being very coin conscious at this stage of the game. But for those of you that still are, or trying some cards out, I still think, you know, like this Ginola card, 257 at the moment, I could very easily see this Ginola in like 2.2, 2.3 million coins in like three, four, five days. And if you don't want to lose a couple hundred thousand coins, if it's not worth it to you at this stage of the game, I just want to give those of you guys a heads up looking forward to that. Now, speaking of fodder, right? Because tradable supply today is going to impact fodder. Yesterday, your fodder spikes, they happened, of course, right? We had a lot of SBCs re-up yesterday. We had the footies upgrade times 10, um, which actually I can do that. Okay. Yeah. I did not do that SBC yesterday. I didn't do the 86 plus player pick either. Um, I did do the 85 times 10. That one's going to refresh, of course, every single day. So that's going to be up again today. 86 plus player pick will be back today. And then I think that the footies batch three times 10 is not back today, even though I have not done it yet. Of course, yesterday we had the two shapeshifter 94 plus player picks. Today on Wednesday, we might also see that uh, foot hero shapeshifter slash captains player pick re-released. I think that's been something that's been dropping up every single Wednesday as well. So watch out for that. But again, like I said, the big content for today on Wednesday is the voting. Maybe a Silver Stars as well. I mean, I've kind of been glossing over that objective side of things on Wednesdays, but watch out for a Silver Stars because we had the Mukoko. Um, maybe today, you know, maybe they'll give us a, a little bit of a clue here on what our next week it could be. They dropped Mukoko last week on Wednesday um, before the Bundesliga week. So maybe they'll drop a, a clue here on what our Silver Star would be today. So watch that part of the game as well. Now let's talk just briefly about, okay, I didn't talk about fodder. I want to talk about fodder. Sorry, sorry, sorry. SBC fodder. I started to go down that road and then didn't. I want to talk about this though, because yes, I do believe that fodder is probably still a club stock. I mean, your 84s are down here in the low fours. If you want to do an 85 times 10 or any of the gamble packs at content today, I would say go ahead and buy the stuff ahead of time so that you can do the SBC right away when it comes out today. Or if you're crafting some player picks, you know, go ahead and do those buy the golds or whatever. Um, and, you know, actually, actually for player picks, I would be a little bit careful because gold rares last week were very, very high on Tuesday into Wednesday. And then with the supply that we got on Wednesday, they started to go down Thursday. We get some rivals rewards as well. And that puts them down even further. So with these fodder cards, I think what you would do if, you, if you're trying to flip them today, because I still think they would have a pretty good fluctuation, right? Harry Maguire, 5.1 K. What did he do yesterday? He went from 5 K spiked to 6.2. 1 6.7 so the spikes weren't as big on some cards yesterday or some of them they were still pretty good pk what he do pk spike to okay not he likes almost a thousand coins up nothing super duper crazy but i would probably try to sell these cards in the spike today because 
as that tradable pack supply is put on the market, these cards will probably drop lower into Wednesday night and then Thursday morning, fodder is gonna have a low point when Ravels rewards are put out and that could be another great time for a quick flip or if you just wanna get some fodder before uh, we actually have the refresh of the 85 times 10 and that stuff on Thursday. We'll talk about a little bit more about that in tomorrow's video, but I just don't expect like 84s to go to like 7K today or anything crazy because we're going to have that tradable supply for the voting day SBC. So just be maybe a little bit more careful um, about those cards. But for, for real, people are still going to be doing SBCs today. There's still a lot of crafting that is going on. And like I mentioned with the player picks, if you're, if you're grinding a lot of player picks at the moment, gold rares are seriously still 1.7, 1.8K. You know, I think that they could be 1.4, 1.5, maybe even down to like 1.2 by the time we hit Rivals Rewards tomorrow morning. So that's just something to kind of be careful about as well and think if you're trying to save coins but still uh, do a lot of, of content and player picks, you might save yourself a few coins and maybe a few hundred coins or a few thousand coins on player picks if you wait, um, you know, a day for that sort of thing. So that's just something to kind of look out for. Also, I want to bring your attention to... Some information that was tweeted out. Um, let me find the Twitter account right here. It is around this time last year where we had the first information about the, the next FIFA's beta. And actually, it was on like this date. On this date last year. On the 10th of August is when the first um, beta codes were put out for FIFA 22. The, the closed beta invites. Um, now, if you don't know how to get a closed beta invite, it's random. I believe it might even be US and UK only, but you basically go into your EA account settings and turn the checkbox on to receive like promotional product. It's, it's under your like um, account. It's like, do you want to receive promotional inf emails from EA Sports? You click yes, and that's all you literally have to do. Um, and so people were saying that this could be potentially something that is dropped today on a Wednesday because it was released on this date last year, which... I understand the only thing that I, I'm not completely sure with about that is, um, you know, we have not had the FIFA Ultimate Team deep dive yet for FIFA 23. We had the 22 deep dive last year on, let's see, is there a date on this? This is when we learned about a whole new Division Rivals reward system and all of the new stuff. Foot Heroes last year when we heard about them for the first time. I believe it was like August 10th last year is when we learned the first bit of information about FIFA 22 and the beta. I I still think, since we haven't had that reveal yet, that reveal is tomorrow on Thursday, by the way, for FIFA 23. It might be a little bit early, but if you heard people talking about this, I would say there's like a minuscule chance of hearing about beta codes today. I, I think that's more of maybe even after this week, maybe next week sort of thing. But we'll see, right? Again, it's up to EA. Um, it's completely up to them on how they release that stuff. So... I guess this is the time of the year where you start checking your emails and hope that, fingers crossed, you get a beta code. So that's just one thing I wanted to point out in today's video as well, um, is that those things are on the horizon. Now, I also believe that I didn't talk about Anthony. Um, Anthony wasn't on Footbin for the longest time yesterday, which is very interesting. Also, the servers went down yesterday for like an hour or so. Not really that big of a deal. Um, didn't affect the market that much. So for Anthony, they added a finesse shot trait, but they didn't give him five star, five star. But his price is cheap enough that is it really that bad? 85,000 coins for a cracked Brazil right wing. You know, he's got a lot of upvotes on Footbin. I completely understand why. Very nice card, very craftable, very cheap, budget friendly right wing, end game card. Absolutely. So, no problems with Anthony. Maybe we would have loved the five star, five star, but the finesse shot trait added is very nice. Some people might be like, Nate, I have Felipe Anderson. Should I do this card? You know, if you're getting tired of Felipe Anderson for 85,000 coins, it's not that bad of an upgrade, and he does look really, really good. 90 reactions is a bit slow. 93 finishing, even at this stage of the game. 91 attack positioning feels a bit off as well. So I'm not sure how good he is in game. Some people say he's good. Some people say they prefer other cards ahead of him. That's the RSBC content from yesterday, though. And I think with the value being where it is, you can't complain too much. So again, the biggest part about today on Wednesday is that vote and the Griezmann SBC. Hopefully that drops today, and hopefully... That vote shows us French players because I would love to go out and use a full ratty French team and just play against a bunch of rats to, you know, <laughs> the last week of footies, just have a blast in a cup mode. Golden gold though, please, so that we can only we can only stand the radness for a small amount of time. So 
we will see today. We'll be live streaming on Twitch. Check the link down below in the description. If you want to check it out with us there, it should be a fun time. And we'll be doing a lot of upgrade packs and finishing my Bundesliga Cup games as well. So I can get, uh, let's see, who is everybody getting from these player picks? I've seen a lot of um, uh, the Davies, a lot of Davies, and then and then worse. Some Atal, some Abamyangs, Reyna, Hydara, those types of cards. So I'll be collecting my 94 rated, 95 rated shapeshifters from these player picks if I can get enough wins. Hopefully I can progress even further in that way today on the game. So again, check that link down below the description if that interests you at all, which hopefully it does. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.